Good morning, everyone. It's another day with Lady J from Stove to Stomach, and today I'll be doing a Jamaican uh, menu. I'll be doing some uh, brown stew fish and a little rice and peas. Okay, just follow me as I continue. And so here I have my snapper, lovely snapper. This I'll be cleaning you know? up. This I will be now. It is partially clean from the store, so I'll do the finishing touch to this. First thing I do, I make sure I get a, some lemon, and this I squeeze to the outside and also in the interior of the snapper. Okay. Then I just, whatever remaining uh, scales or so that is left on it, then I'll try to get it clean away so that we do not have any scale while we're eating our fish. Trim away the just make sure right ahead and trim. Okay. The excess bones. Some is already off by the persons who clean it. And so the remaining portions that are there and make sure they're all off. Okay, so it look nice and presentable when it is ready. Make sure to get into the interior and whatever is left in there that I will make sure it is properly cleaned away so you can see how clean how clean it is in and out on these places there is no more scale you can see it is now descaled Now I will so dry my fish. And this I will cut it in three pieces. My knife needs a little better sharpening. Oh, sad. Sad for me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so there we go. It's now cut. I take it and I put my seasoning on. Here is my usual Maggie season up, which is my favorite. I will put a little inside. And so this could be done overnight or even an hour or so before it is prepared. But now I will use a little bit of my Old Bay seasoning. I also put a little, not much, not too much, just a little. This I will just rub a little lightly, lightly rub a little onto the outside. And then I use my finger and massage into the inside, the one that is already placed in. So here, I ensure that I see fold it in. Let it in. A little pinch of salt just enough 
to lightly taste, not too much, not too much. Now I will add a pinch of ginger, ground ginger, just a pinch, because I will be using a little of the whole one in there. And for those who likes black pepper, for those who are able to eat black pepper or so, or any form of spice, then you could, you can go ahead and use that. But this I will not be using much in, okay? Okay, I leave that for a few minutes to go ahead and marinate. Leave that there now already on my stove is a pot with some already cooked red kidney beans and so here I have my coconut milk which I will be putting in here I have some green onions or scallion, scallion. This I will rub. So this I will now rub. I will not cut this off. I just add to it. And some thyme. Here I have some thyme that are cut. I'll add this also. My garlic, two cloves of garlic that I will crush for this purpose. I will crush. So that when it is cooked, it can be removed. So that I'll crush. And here is my ginger. It is optional, it is your choice. This is frozen, frozen ginger. I will be adding this also into my rice and peas. And as I said, it is optional, it is your choice, whatever you wanna put into your meal. Okay, I will add just a pinch of salt, enough to taste. And no, some a tablespoon of the good coconut oil coconut woman is calling out and if you listen you can hear she shout coconut woman so I'll add this it's good for your daughter coconut okay so there we have it I will stir, make sure it is, everything is stirred in. And then I will now open my flame a little more. This was turned down because it was already boiled. And so this I will leave to, that's it, yes, to boil. While that is boiling, I will now add to my pan, which is already heated, the olive oil. And you can also use the coconut oil to do your frying, but I chose to use my olive oil. Now I'll add just a pinch of my Maggi season up in my coconut and peas and that I will allow to boil then I get the rice and add to just let that go ahead and heat coconut 
that the woman is backing out. Mm. Now on this side I have a pot which I'll be doing some stir fry green vegetables. All green. some green string beans, some string beans, some Brussels sprout, and some frozen You see it is, this is a way of keeping my things fresh. It is frozen, it is in the freezer. So you don't have to, um, you know, have it get spoiled. You can save it as much as possible into your freezer, right? Yeah. Sometimes keep it in the freezer itself and stay there and um, get soft and spoiled. So what I do, I put it in the freezer, refrigerate, and when I'm ready, I take it. That it's almost cooked because it is frozen, so I put that last into the pot. And here I'll add just a bit of olive oil, just like a teaspoon, not much, in there, and I will add, oh, I did put away my salt, a pinch of salt, optional. And so that's already heated. So here I will add my Brussels sprout, into my string bean. already and I'm gonna be drying pot drying them see here then I'm going to my heated oil My peas is now ready for my rice, and this is the jasmine. So 
One side is on a to the other side. Bend it brown and one side before you go to the other. Let's see the progress. Now that both sides are ready, I remove them. You can see how brown and nice they are. Stew, I'll be putting some carrots. Some cut green onions. Green bell pepper. Some thyme. Some garlic, now I'll also drop a piece of ginger, I'll be using some red onions, you can use your 
white onions, but today I'll do some red onions. And see the colors and the pots. And there is my green. And here is my rice and peas simmering nicely here. So I put yes. and there's my meat. There those of us from the island, sometimes we love to use a little foil or some plastic or so, sometimes and all the time for our rice. And so I make sure the flame is lowered so it might be there, but there's no flame that will catch it, okay? Now I'll add a little water. Much so, there I add some water, and then I will open my flame a little more. Some sauce, just for a little curry, not much. I'll add some white wine vinegar, optional. And this I bring to Additional of my Maggie season now. I love this girl. I love this girl. I love this girl so much. I love this girl so much, Miss Maggie. Yeah. Now this is ready. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Love my Italian season. This was itching a little. You know you don't want your vegetables to cook too much, right? So I will be placing my fish in it. So here I place my snapper into my is ready. So here I 
My aunt, my scallion, my thyme, and my ginger, and the garlic that is in there. Okay, so here we have it. Here we have it. Everything is done and ready to be eaten. So let's see, here we have it. That's my rice and peas, my brown stew chicken, and here we have our vegetables okay so now it's time to share let's share And so here we have it, our brown stew chicken, sorry, fish, our brown stew fish, and our vegetables. Thank you for watching, and also thank you for your views, for your subscribes. 
for your likes and for your comments and for those who have seen this for the very first time thank you your likes your subscribe your share and your comment will be highly appreciated stay tuned until your lady J is back with another upload from stove to stomach have a good day